visually speaking, Moana is probably like the most beautiful Disney animated film I have ever seen. And a lot of that has to do with the, the setting, the colors, because I like colors like aquamarine or just like very light blue colors like you would see in, in Fiji or the Maldives or Bora Bora. And that is in part the, the appeal to me of this film. Like when I first saw it and I saw the setting that it was going to be in the ocean, like, wow, this looks very beautiful. And when I watched it, I was not disappointed. Oh, shit. This looks like a screensaver. And also because a lot of people have recommended it to me, I've heard nothing but good things about Moana since it came out. However, having watched it, it is slightly disappointing. I'm not saying it was a bad film. I am not saying it was a bad film at all. But in comparison to a lot of other Disney animated films, it just, it wasn't as enthralling as them. Like I, recently I watched Encanto, Encanto, I mean, I am a little biased because I could relate to it more easily, but Encanto overall was a much better film in my personal opinion. If you disagree with me, that's completely fine. Um, I think the last one before that I watched was Zootopia. Zootopia was a better film than this, in my personal opinion. The Lion King, <laughs> the Lion King still reigns as number one. Like I don't think anything's ever gonna top the Lion King in my opinion. So yeah, it's not like a bad film or anything. I'm just, I'm not in awe of it like the way other people are. Like a lot of people just look at me like I'm crazy when I say Moana's not even in my top five Disney animated films. It looks beautiful. It looks spectacular. But the story to me just wasn't that enthralling. Like it, it wasn't that interesting to me. Just seeing Moana and Maui constantly just sailing and sail, or my bad, wayfinding. Like it, it really wasn't that entertaining to me. I mean, they even had to add like a random fight scene with like these these pirate things. It starts with a K. I can't remember what it was called, but they had to add that in there because like there's only so much you can do when all you're doing is way finding your way across the ocean. And then when they finally do make their way across the ocean and they have to fight Teka, I think that was the name of the the demon monster, the lava monster. It really wasn't that great of a fight. I mean, they've been warned this entire time, oh Teka is a demon and he's powerful and will wreak death on whoever tries to do this or that whatever but like you don't see it the, throughout the entire film like the entire film is just Moana and Maui that's it so Teka which was technically Tefiti was just a poor antagonist in my opinion like they don't really have a role outside of being scary for all of like two minutes and on top of that Maui conveniently decides to come back after deciding he was gonna go because he wasn't gonna try to get himself killed trying to help Moana prove that she's something that he doesn't believe she is, which is the chosen one by the ocean to restore the heart of Tefiti. And I don't think the entire movie they stated why she was chosen. I had to look up on the internet and apparently she was chosen because the ocean tested her by presenting her with a, a nice looking seashell and a turtle being attacked by seagulls, I guess. And she chose the life of the seagull instead of the seashell. And for that reason, the ocean chose Moana, which I thought was really stupid. I mean, you're just deciding who's going to be the chosen one based on a child's decision to go save a sea turtle. I mean, it's a child. They don't really know anything except what interests them. That's it. Like, they don't really have much morality. They don't really know right from wrong or the consequences of their actions. They don't really understand too much because they're children. So the ocean just deciding, hey, I'm going to choose that little girl who doesn't really know anything to bring the heart of Tefiti back to Tefiti and save the world. That's just really dumb. But anyway, I could be wrong, but I don't recall a single moment in the entire film where it stated why Moana was chosen. Like, maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just blind. If someone knows, please let me know in the comment section where I can find that because I don't recall seeing it and I'm not going to watch the entire movie all over again just to get that answer. And additionally, the music wasn't really as catchy as other films. Your Welcome is definitely a song that I found very catchy. I was humming it after I watched the film. I looked it up on Spotify and kept listening to it along with the other songs I have in my playlist for Disney films. But the rest of them, like, they sounded good. Like, the singing was great. It wasn't that. They just weren't catchy. It's not something that I would just replay and just listen to over and over again. And unless I'm forgetting something, like, that pretty much wraps up like what I don't like about the film because like every other Disney animated film there's a lot of lessons to be learned there's a lot of good themes such as going after what you want being true to yourself and who you are deep down inside because your parents will often tell you not to do something because they want to protect you from the mistakes that they made 
but at the end of the day you have to make your own mistakes you have to live your life and do what you want to do and who you are and your value is not determined by what you can provide what you can do for other people i mean it depends on the situation like if you're talking about work then your employer's only value to you is them paying you if they don't pay you then you have no use for them like why would you work for them if they're not paying you so it's different in that sense but i mean like your value as a person as a human being like that is not determined by what you can do for someone else or your your abilities or talents like you are a person and what makes you unique is who you are everything about you makes you unique and i think that's all i got to say about it but let me know how you feel about moana in the comment section Honestly, The Lion King to me is still number one. I don't think anything will ever touch that. I could be wrong. We'll see. But let me know how you feel in the comment section, whether you agree or disagree. Hit that like button, please. It does help me a lot. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will catch you in the next video next Friday. See you then. Bye-bye.